I'm Mr. Beat, but am I smarter than an eighth grader? Am I smarter than an eighth grader? A few years ago, I saw stories floating around the internet about how an eighth grade graduation test from 1895 was so difficult that most adults today would not be able to pass it. These stories were essentially saying, we are all so dumb today, and they were all so smart back then, right? The exam took five hours to complete. This gives the saying, he only had an eighth grade eighth grade education a whole new meaning, doesn't it? It also shows how poor our education system has become. The logic also being that my grandparents, who stopped going to school after the eighth grade, actually got more schooling than eighth graders today, those darn kids today. But hold on, let's take a look at this test. How difficult was it? Hey, look, it was supposedly for eighth graders in Salina, Kansas, not too far from where I live. You know what? I think I'm just gonna take this test. I'm a fairly smart guy. I have a couple bachelor's degrees and a master's degree. Okay, maybe that makes me not smart, but regardless, I think I can handle this thing, okay? Let's take a look at this. Yeah! And for the record, I did not study for this thing ahead of time, okay? Five hours. Jeez. I think I'm gonna take this thing to school. Let's go. Fun fact, in 1895, most teenagers didn't go to high school. It was a relatively new thing. So eighth grade was it. Grammar. One hour. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, let's get this thing graded. Okay, teacher. Okay. I completed the test. All right, it's probably gonna take me a minute okay. to grade it. Thank you. Okay. All right, how, how'd I do? We have some news for you. Took over an hour to grade this test. Thank mm -hmm. you for doing this. You got 105.5 out of yes! 172 possible points. No, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> and, which makes it a 61%. <gasps> I passed! <laughs> I can't believe I passed. Oh my gosh, holy crap, I barely passed. Yeah. I sound like some of my students. So, yeah. I, 60%. I got on the history section, I got 29 out of 36. Yeah. So, and then the geography section. You did pretty well on that one. Yeah. 27 out of 32. So, this is the one that you did not do very well. Oh, <laughs> orthography was yeah. uh, 24 out of 63. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, well, for starters, I don't even know what orthography means. So, that, that it's like was. speech. Phonics? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. figured something like that. Okay, so this test was definitely difficult. Uh, the fact that I felt surprised and relieved that I passed it with a 61%, that tells you a lot here. Looking at the test though, some of these questions are just so random. And how am I expected to know some of these terms? Like for example, the arithmetic for number nine, it says, what is the cost of a square farm at $15 per acre, the distance around which is 640 rods? I don't even know one rod, let alone 640 rods. For the US history part, it wanted me to talk about how, and I talked about how the general. For the geography section, it said, name and describe the following, Monrovia, Odessa, Denver, Manitoba, Hecla, Yukon, St. Helena. For Yukon, they were actually wanting the river, but I described Yukon territory, so it's like it was also very vague. So a few things about this test. First of all, we are not entirely sure that this test was actually 
an eighth grade graduation test. Based on the evidence, it's just not clear. Even the Salina Journal, who first published the test back in 1996, wasn't completely sure about it. Based on some of the language in the test, it might have been intended for adults, presumably either newly graduated teachers or applicants to teachers' college. The Salina Journal also reported that if eighth graders did take this test, only about 25% of them actually passed it. And finally, this is just a horrible test. Ask any teacher, it doesn't tell you how intelligent you are. It's just memorization of certain facts, many of which are useless. And sure, some of the questions on here are skills-based, but many of those skills are outdated and we have machines that do those skills now. The only reason why students are able to pass tests is because they study right before they take them and then forget it all afterward. Simply put, even if this was actually a legit 8th grade graduation test in 1895, it would not be proof that 8th graders back then were smarter than 8th graders now. In fact, I would argue the opposite. 8th graders today are much smarter than 8th graders back then. No offense to 8th graders who lived in 1895. So what do I think about this test? Here's what I think about this test. All right. Thanks to longtime Patreon supporter John Johnson for suggesting the topic for this video. It was actually kind of fun to take that test, so thanks for the suggestion. Also, if you want your video topic suggestion heard, donate at least 15 bucks a month on Patreon. That's the Grover Cleveland level. The Patreon link is in the description. Thank you so Thank much, you so for, much watching. for watching.